Path of Exile is a game that rewards patience and curiosity. Today, I'm going to give you three things I wish I knew sooner when I started playing Path of Exile. Get your pen and paper out. You're going to want to write these down. See you on the other side. All right, so let's begin. Tip number one. Your garbage is someone else's treasure. So Path of Exile is a very loot intensive game. There is a lot, a lot of loot drops, okay? And here are all my stashes. You can see, yes, I'm a hoarder. Um, but there's a lot of loot in this game. And of course, with the loot filter, a lot of it gets thrown to the wayside. You don't pick it up. But you do pick up a lot of loot. At least I do. And to salvage it, you're going to utilize it. But I strongly suggest early game where currency is important if you want to upgrade your gear because we all want to get stronger, right? We're progressing through the campaign, heading towards the end game. Obviously, you want to get stronger. And the way to do that is either crafting your gear, which requires resources, which requires money, or getting the currency. So to me, I wish I knew this sooner when I first started playing PoE, sell your junk. So what you need to do I'm going to demonstrate it very quickly is uh, I have a cell tab and the naming convention is personal. Do whatever, however, naming convention you want, but basically it needs to be a premium tab. And all you need to do is make sure it's set to public. And then there are some, um, some parameters that you can set. Now I like to put that. I want to price each item individually. And, but the main thing is just make sure that you have this to public and now you can list items publicly, okay? So I'm gonna show you two ways because you're probably asking my, yourself, how do I know what it's worth, right? So there's two ways. There's a, an overlay, an app, whatever you wanna call it, called Awakening POE Trade. And I just hit Control D whenever I want to check through that app, okay? And there's the overlay right there. You put, you check all the attributes that it has, and then you want to make sure you, what league is it, right? So I'm in the Ancestor League, and then I always like to put the chaos, and here is all the pricing and the time frame. So 23 hours ago, one day ago, and it gives you kind of a range between 30 to 50, right? So you're like, okay, but I don't like to stop there. I like to go on pathofexile.com and you go on the trade website. So this is where you buy and sell items. So this is the public trade site for Path of Exile players to buy and sell, like I said. And basically, you can put the name of the amulet, which is the replica dragon fangs. You hit search, and it'll show you. So I'll repopulate it. So it's anywhere from 10 to 20 and higher and higher as you go down, right? But the lowest is 10. So my point is, between those two applications, you can assess what you want to sell your item for, okay? and you can list it. So I want an exact price. So 10 to 50. So let's say I put it at 30. Boom. Okay, so now it's showing me 30 chaos orb. Now, the other thing is, you're asking yourself, oh my God, you have all these items in here. <clears throat> when someone actually wants to buy it from you how do you know it's very simple when someone hits that they want to buy that there's going to be a pop-up and an alert on the left side of your screen it's going to show you what the person wants to buy but even more importantly path of exile does a great job 
when you come back, let's say someone just said, hey, I want to buy your Onyx amulet, like this gentleman did, as you can see, right? It says to you, it's in your stash tab, sell, sell, position, left seven, top two. Now, you don't even have to remember that because when you come in here, this will be highlighted for you. Basically, the game's going to circle or highlight, hey, this is the item that the person wants to buy. So you don't have to think about anything. But my point is, early game, I wish I knew this when I first started playing Path of Exile. Sell your junk because your junk, your garbage, is someone else's treasure. And you'll get the important currency that you need to upgrade your gear it's a great tip don't forget it tip number two and this is a really helpful helpful tip and that is when you're first starting poe you're progressing through the campaign it's important to make a decision on what your strategy is going to be for that leak in other words what are you going to be farming? What game mechanics? And we're not going to go over the game mechanics because there's many of them. But what mechanics are you going to farm in order to either make money or provide resources that you need in order to upgrade your gear? Because ultimately, the goal in Path of Exile is not, of course, having fun but creating a strong character that can play any mechanic in the game and actually run all the end game content effectively, efficiently, right? Without dying over and over and over. Well, in order to do that, you need to upgrade your gear and you need to upgrade your weapons. You need to upgrade your class, your character. So in order to do that, either you need to craft the gear and upgrade it which requires resources, or you can purchase the upgrades, which requires currency, right? So irrespective of which one you want to do, you need to understand and make a decision on what do I want to farm? Now, my tip for you is utilize the economy, the market of Path of Exile, study it, look at it, and see what is selling at the higher amounts and utilize that information and make an educated decision on what you want to farm. So how do you do that, you ask? <clears throat> Where is it? It's over here. POE Ninja. Okay, another amazing resource. And when you come to POE Ninja's website, you'll see on the left here, there's a general tab, which will show you what currency is selling for, fragments, tattoos. That's the current league mechanic, Trial of the Ancestors. And then it has equipment and gems. And then, you know, the Atlas stuff, scarabs, maps, and then crafting, right? So... If you already have an idea of what you want to farm, you can check what it's selling for currently and if it's going to be worth your grind time. And don't forget, most importantly, make sure you put what league you're in and then the pricing will be attributed to that specific league. <clears throat> so if we go to, let's say... We go to Essence, okay? So this is what players use to um, upgrade gear and change the modifiers and attributes and all this kind of stuff, right? But as you can see, this website will list the value, the tier, the pricing in the last seven days. So you can see if anything's trending up, anything is trending down. Okay, and then you can just click and sort on the value. So the Essence of Horror is selling at 22 Chaos Orbs. 
So again, my point is utilizing PoE Ninja to strategize on what league mechanics to play in order to maximize your time and make more currency is a thing I wish I knew sooner because it will help shape what you want to do for this league. So don't undervalue this website. Utilize it to gather key information to help you strategize on what league mechanics you should farm and focus on. Okay, tip number three. And this might seem like a no-brainer, but in my first league, what I wanted to farm was not aligned with how I customized my Atlas map. Let me explain. When you're running the maps at Endgame, we have this Atlas map, which basically we're customizing how our map game is going to play for us, right? We control to some degree, to a good degree, how maps are going to perform for us, right? We can, we can tell the game, this is what I want to spawn when I run maps. So my tip for you, and I wish I knew this when I played in the Crucible League for the very first time, that was my first league, make sure your Atlas map is aligned with your farming strategy. Don't pick nodes that don't align with that strategy because then you'll be running maps and you won't be farming mechanics that align with your strategy. So let me demonstrate. My strategy for 3.22, the current league, is I want to farm Harvest and I want to find Expedition. So everything I do in the Atlas skill tree here the, is has to be aligned to that, right? I want to tell the game and force it to spawn Expedition and Harvest as much as possible when I run maps, right? So everything I select here is somehow aligned to that. So this is just saying that there's a chance for the maps to drop an additional connected map, okay? And all that means is that while I'm going through this, it's gonna potentially have a higher rate of dropping a map that I need, okay? Sorry, wrong one. And then over here, I'm just eliminating all the other mechanics in the game. Okay? So do not spawn these mechanics. Okay? Metamorphosis, Delirium, Blight. I'm telling it, don't spawn these on my maps. And then I'm also telling it, your maps have a plus four chance to contain an expedition encounter, another 4%, another 12%. So I'm increasing the odds expedition spawning in my map. So 50% chance to contain an additional harvest, right? So these are all things that I'm customizing in order to get those two mechanics that I want, harvest, and expedition. So tip number three, and I wish I knew sooner when I started playing Path of Exile, make sure your farming strategy is aligned with your Atlas tree for your maps. Because if they're not, you'll be wasting your time. Okay, everyone, there you have it. Those are my three tips I wish I knew sooner when I started playing Path of Exile. I assure you, these tips are going to give you a gigantic leap into the game and ensure your time is being maximized and it's efficient because remember, there's already a lot of things to learn in Path of Exile and not knowing which road to go down is not only a waste of time for you, but it's also going to 
further increase your anxiety when it comes to playing this game. And we all know we don't play games for anxiety. We play them to have fun. And Path of Exile is a fun game. So I hope you enjoyed those three tips. By the way, for the seasoned veterans of Path of Exile that are watching this, let me know if you would change those three. All the comments I'm getting in all my videos are help are helping educating me as well. So I would appreciate your insight. And as always, thanks for watching everybody. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.